Hello. We're baking brownies. The things you need for brownies. How you make brownies, you need these ingredients. Wow, fancy graphics. You need those ingredients. You're gonna need all those ingredients. Okay, yeah, we're good. All the ingredients. You also are going to need a baby because that's the only way that you can get views. Okay. Okay, we have a recipe, but we're not gonna follow it 100% because that is just who I am. We're gonna start off with preheating the oven. As always, that's everything that we do in baking. Bake 325 if you didn't know how to preheat it. Also, I'm still incredibly short. We need a taller oven. I would use this, but that's a microwave, so we're not gonna use that. In a medium bowl. Ah! In a medium bowl, we got sugar, we got flour, we got cocoa powder, we have that. What have you done? The powdered sugar. Boom. I know, I'm an idiot. We're gonna have chocolate chips. Not the same ones that the baby was eating because those have already probably been in her mouth three or four times and you don't really want to use those. So, we're just going to use regular chocolate chips for this session. Oh, and you're also going to need salt as well. Chocolate chips, how much chocolate chips? You may be asking yourself. Well, I am asking that exact same question if you didn't know. Okay. Yeah, and she's asking it too. How many chocolate chips? Half a cup. That's right, half a cup. Sorry about the noise in the background. People are very loud back there. Oh no, we're not sorry. Never mind. Ha! We're gonna add a little bit extra. What do you do after it's all in there? You combine it. So I'm gonna use this handy dandy Star Wars little thing. Here you go, you can have that. This handy dandy Star Wars thing. We're just gonna mix it all together. Just fold it together until it's all black or brown or white or however you wanna see it. So yeah, we're gonna mix this together, and um, yeah, we're about to do the wet ingredients. Oops. Okay, I'm fine, sorry. In a large bowl. <laughs> One second. Hi, is there a large bowl in here? One second. Do you have a large bowl? No. Ah. Large bowl. Two eggs. Preferably no shells. If you get some in there, you can either pick them out or it adds an extra bit of crunch so you don't have to add those extra chocolate chips like we did before. Olive oil. I have vegetable oil. It also calls for, you can also use canola oil. I have vegetable oil. Then we're gonna add water, which I'm a little bit different. I like to hype up. I, at least that's how much I'm putting in here. So here's three fourths. Here's one, and here's a bit more for good measure. What do you do with the extra? Well, it's already cooled down. Oh, I've never had it cold straight. That's different. That's a different sensation. You might want to add some milk to that, maybe just a little bit. Otherwise, you just got coldness. Vanilla, vanilla extract. That's what I'm using. I don't know what they call for, but I'm using vanilla extract. We're going to whisk all those together. Ha! Huh. Found the whisk, first try. You wanna whisk it? Nope, that's not for you to eat. You wanna whisk it? Nope, that's not for you to eat. You wanna whisk it? Nope, that's not for you to eat. Do you wanna whisk it? No, again, you can't eat that. Okay, I guess I'll just whisk it. This is why you use a large bowl because, well, you're gonna get crap everywhere and it's not gonna look good. I don't know how long we have to mix it. Oh, sprinkle the dry mix over the wet. Stir until just combined. Stir or whisk? I'm gonna add a little bit on its own. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, okay? I'm gonna add just a little bit at a time and mix it all together. 
so that it's just a little bit at a time, all right? It didn't tell me to whisk it or stir it. It actually told me to stir it, but I don't know with what tool. Definitely not a whisk because, my goodness, that is getting clumped up together. This was probably a bad idea, but we're gonna whisk and stir because it didn't know which tool. It didn't tell me which one to do it with. So we're gonna do both because that is just how you do it. That's right, I said both right this time. I didn't say both. Okay, you definitely wanna use a spatula because a whisk was absolutely 100% a bad idea. Just give me one second. We're just gonna stir it because if you were smart in the first place and you actually watched this tutorial all the way through, before actually cooking the stuff, you would be smart. But since you just look at ingredients, you're not smart. How you doing? You are covered in chocolate. Oh, I hope your mom doesn't hate me. Oh my gosh, what? Now, we're gonna set this aside. And we're gonna take out this other thing. Oh wow, I definitely got everything everywhere. And what you're gonna do, okay? This is the tricky part. You're gonna take a glove that fits your hand, you're gonna put it on, okay? Now you're gonna pretend that you're a doctor and perform a brain surgeon. Scalpel. Try to slide this in another video. Okay, here we go. Brain surgery time. You're supposed to be knocked out. You're supposed to be knocked out. You're supposed to be, oh, you're supposed to be knocked out. Lean back. Lean your head back. Hi. How are you? Nope, stop. Like, boom, tiny little brain is out. I'm not gonna show you. We're just gonna dust that off the floor. I'm not gonna show you. So, yeah, good job. You did great. Lactose free butter, because I am not trying to give myself a heart attack. If you get a non stick pan, congratulations. Still do this, it adds flavor too. You don't wanna do it all over the sides. You might be wondering, what does this butter taste like? Yeah, hold that. Hold that for me. I'm gonna let go, okay? Hold, nope, okay. I said I'm gonna let go. Yeah, there you go, now you got it. Okay. You ready? I'm gonna let go. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna let go. All right. Your hand is all up in there. I'm pretty sure you're against food safety protocol now. All right, okay, all right. You wanna see what's going on? This was definitely way too big of a pan. As you can see, the pan was way too big for what we're doing here. As you can see, I probably should have adjust the pan size and actually thought about that. Give me one second. I got a tape measure. I'm gonna see how long this pan is. 13 and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Okay, I'm going to try to do some math and try to determine how long this cooks for. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that, but uh, let's... Okay, um, I will see you when I have this in the oven because I'm gonna have to take down a bunch of equipment in order to get in there. I'll see you then. Brownies are done. We probably should have used a smaller pan because it called for inches less than this. We're gonna cut into them. We're gonna see how they look and more specifically, how they taste because I feel like that's probably a very important part. From the last video though, the carrot cake did taste great. We'll try it. They're very fudgy. I'm pretty good. Wow, these are actually pretty good.